Hi, I'm Roger McClary, an automation specialist with the Reynolds Company. Today, I want to talk to you about ADC, Automatic Device Configuration. To do that, we need a couple of components of hardware. Uh, the main component, if you will, is our Stratix 5700 managed switch. The managed switch is responsible for assigning the IP addresses to the devices, such as our CompactLogix controller and our PowerFlex 525 drive. The Compact Logics controller is actually going to be storing the parameters for the drive, and then once the drive needs it, it will actually upload the, the parameter files from the device to the drive. We're showing a Compact Logics, it very well could be a Control Logics processor as well, and we're showing a PowerFlex 525 drive, but the drive can be any one of our PowerFlex uh, series of drives. Along with our Stratix switch, as long as it's a managed switch, it could be e any one of the Stratix switch family. Okay, so how do we set up and configure uh, ADC or automatic device configuration. First off, open up Internet Explorer and enter the IP address of the switch. And then once you do that, you'll actually connect to the switch, enter the username and password of the switch, click sign in, and then now you'll see a dashboard up, up, up here coming from the switch. You'll just click the configure button, and now I have to set up something called a DHCP pool. Uh, click the DHCP button, and I've already created a DHCP pool called ADC. If you need to add one, modify it, or do something different, you can there by simply clicking the Create. I already have it, so let's go ahead and set up the DHCP persistence, which I've already set up as well. I have port 1, 2, 3, and 4. Our drive happens to be plugged into port 4, and it will give it the IP address 192.168.1.29. Uh, that's where the IP address is going to come from uh, to be sent to the drive. Now we open up Logix Designer because we're through with the switch. In Logix Designer, we go down to our ADC-enabled device, which happens to be our PowerFlex 525 drive. We click on the Drive tab. You have across the top General, Connection, Module, informa Information, and Port Configuration. We click on the drive. To set up ADC, you click on the ADC button. And when you do that, you can see how difficult this is going to be to set up. You simply check the box, and you have just now configured ADC. And then we'll have to take this file and download it to the controller. So let's remember our scenario. Our PowerFlex 525 drive has failed. And you see we've lost our drive down there because the PowerFlex 525 has our yellow triangle of death, plus it says faulted. We've gone into stores, and we've got another one. We've replaced it and plugged it in. We made all the necessary connections. Now the controller is trying to connect to the drive, and it can't because it doesn't have an uh, IP address. The Stratix 5700 managed switch notices that this guy is requesting an IP address. The switch gives it its IP address. The controller then notices there's a difference between the configuration files that exist in the file here and what exists on the drive. So now we're configuring the drive, and the controller will actually send the set of configuration files, and there it just sent it. Now you see it say running, and the uh, yellow triangle of death is gone, and you see now we have full control of our drive up there in the client. We can start our drive and we see a commanded frequency and it is in fact running. This takes about 45 seconds. So in about 45 seconds we've replaced the drive, made all the connections, and we've used no laptops, we've had no configuration files, we haven't had to call anybody within maintenance, we simply just replace the drive and it works. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you would like more information, please don't hesitate to contact us or check out our website.